सोने के लिए वाज साइकोलॉजी ग्रेजुएट है ना मिथ यूनिवर्सिटी सो जस्ट गिव मी द स्टोरी ऑफ ऑल दिस 3 इयर्स दैट यू हैव स्पेंड इन स्टडीइंग साइकोलॉजी एक्चुअली लास्ट 3 इयर्स ऑफ स्टडीइंग साइकोलॉजी हैड बोथ पर्सनल एंड एकेडमिक इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन मी personal in the case of me discovering a lot of, a lot of about my mental health issues from my childhood and academically i would say i got the chance to explore psychoanalysis or psychodynamic deeply and at the same time uh, i also got the chance to work with some spectacular organizations like cry uh, so so what you will be doing uh, see uh, what i want is uh, just to just describe me semester wise what did you learn and, and how did you make your psychology learning effective or anything the focus in semester 1 uh, there were two courses uh, one on identity through popular narratives one on human personality and the semester second i learned about uh, human cognition how our thinking memory and learning works and in semester third we learned about research methods uh, neuropsychology and in semester fourth uh, i learned about case study abnormal psychology and in semester 5 so uh, i learned about how social psychology and how uh, and and a bit about psychology in india and i am in the last semester currently in the last semester there are courses on uh, experiments and uh, neuropsycho neuro, neuro neuropsychological and normal psychological testing and assessment and and also a bit of uh, we can say clinical psychology Okay, so you have also done any research, uh, or research? You have written any research paper in psychology? So actually, uh, I am working on a paper. So it is not yet published, but uh, it is my own research project that I am working on with my supervisor from Ambedkar University. So yes, so, so what is the research objective of this paper? So actually, this research objective. Uh, so my research is on parental bereavement. What happens to parents who lose their children? to any number of or any kind of uh, uh whether it be suicide or any kind of casualty so the the objective of this research is to first to provide a holistic approach a lot of researches that are done in this area is very quantitative and it is very objective in nature so my research provides a very holistic approach because we are using secondary uh, secondary data we are analyzing those data so we have a very we have a very broad understanding of the psychological aspects of what goes on uh, during and after the parental bereavement phase in, in, in a lot of parents so one objective is that and second objective is that this will also prove very useful for creating further psychological intervention uh, whether whether it comes to trauma or whether it comes to bereavement in clinical psychology so, will this research also have uh, surveys or uh, questionnaire based Or, or will it be only based on interviews? No, so it is only based on secondary data generated from interviews. No, no primary okay. data. Then that you are not even uh, taking yourself. No, sir. Actually, uh, because there there is a problem because again uh, I have to I have to really look for the sample and and a lot of and and a lot of training is also required to conduct those samples in a real world setting, and in a way. this study is different because of of its nature of you know analyzing data that already researchers and news websites have done interview on parents of lost child so again uh, uh, it is a it is a different understanding we are trying to you know bring a different understanding to this topic of parental bereavement so that's why we are focusing on the secondary data because it is already available it is reliable and we can just analyze it okay so so what other courses have you applied in test so uh, i've applied in uh, ma applied psychology the specialization in counseling clinical so you will be uh, telling me a preference wise it is your first preference applied psychology okay so my first uh, my first preference is ma applied psychology and my second preference is any social work in mental health mental health so so what do you think if you not get ma in applied psychology and if are getting admission in mental health so so what kind of compromise will be having here or do you think that it won't lead you to the place where you wanted to be through a main applied psychology i would uh, i would not completely say that because for me the preference between two courses is about comfortability because coming from a psychology background which is also somewhat ridden in different subjects different electives as sociology and political science 
I I I have a very comfortable approach to psychology. So if I'm doing a course on MA applied psychology, I'm very comfortable. I don't really have to, uh, you know, trial and error that much. And I already have connection in that field. But when it comes to social work, it it is a very new field for me because I I haven't studied it. Although I've worked in in a small capacity at CRI, but I really haven't. academically explored it so so for me it will be a sacrifice of comfortability and uh, a, a bit of my connections will not prove useful for me in this course so so what do you want to do with this course matlab what career option you will be looking for so actually my primary career option with this course is to open my own social enterprise i haven't really explored the structure of it i'm still in the thinking stage about it but i really want to open a a rural india based uh, psychological uh, mental health based uh, enterprise or ngo and my secondary objective will also be if if this is uh, if uh, my social enterprise endeavor don't work then obviously the job sector that uh, social work uh, gives us uh, gives gives them candidate is very very enticing in its own way so my primary goal is enterprise so, and secondary so, so to open your social enterprise you also need uh, you might also need some enterprise skills so so here we'll be teaching you about all the mental health aspects and so so other aspects so how are you planning to uh, achieve or to acquire those skills which is required to open an entrepreneurial venture or enterprise so actually much of the way this course is structured it 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 really answers that question because it is bringing in social work and mental health together mental health it is a very uh, what we can say a very academic field uh, i must say and social work is more of a field based uh, uh, field based area so I, i was looking at the course structure and the course structure itself is very alignment with my goals because there is course on community management there is course course on social work management and how policy making works how marginalized section work because again i'm i'm working in a rural setting so i need to be diversified and trained in a very liberal and diversified environment to be able to open an enterprise that is sort of catering to that population so again sir i think the course structure uh, in a lot of ways provide me those skills to further further lay a foundation i would say for my social enterprise so um, can you compare the mental health aspect for mental health Uh, for two different kind of society, like one is uh, very elite urban class, or one is uh, rural poor. Okay, sir. So first of all, sir, uh, when we are looking at these two different urban, or I would say urban ruler or the rich poor divide, sir, first of all is the environment they are coming from. So they are bringing their their environment, which we call nurture. The nurture environment, it's very different in both the areas. in in nature uh, sorry sorry uh, i'm really sorry in the in an environment where uh, you are you are born up brought up in an elite environment you might be given everything you ask and in a very uh, rural area you might not be you might not be given the things that you wanted and your needs your uh, satisfaction will be much more different than those areas because again uh, the way we we grow up the the environment we grow up in sir it matters a lot and mental health wise mental health is the complete well being of our social cognitive and physical well being so sir, these three aspects should be aligned and if a person who is coming from a lower rural area so he he might not even have food to eat but a a person who is coming from let's say a, a, an a elite area like south delhi he might have those Uh, things available for him, and the struggle and the narrative will be also be different on an individual and an objective level. Okay, so so uh, recent COVID times, I mean, we have just, I mean, uh, suffered the entire pandemic, and still it's still there. Yeah. People are saying the third wave is still uh, there to come. So, what kind of uh, changes that you see in terms of uh, uh, type of work that a mental health professional would have to do after the covid so so what kind of changes do you see so i would say uh, so so i mean after the third wave or after the no, after COVID the covid and, entire covid ha huh? okay okay so a lot of sir i've i've heard a lot a lot from experts psychiatrists social workers and clinical psychologists like that the post covid trauma 
will be very devastating for the whole world and and india is no india will be not a an aloof victim from that because india has been one of the most impactful nations out of covid so again a mental health uh, worker should first focus on research because we really don't have any data on uh, covid 19 because the government has hasn't issued any research or any committee that will focus on looking at the mental health part of impact of the of the uh, covid 19 so first we need a research uh, we need research and development second is we need community level intervention by community level intervention i mean uh, because our indian society is so segmented socio cultural and economically we need social workers to be on the field like let's say uh, uh, my paternal uh, uh, hierarchy is from uh, uttarakhand so in uttarakhand there are these village called saharanpur and landora so what we can do we can form little little commissions and committees so that they can do community level intervention in that and so thirdly we need a committee a central level authority for uh, for looking at looking at oversighting all of this research and practicing so that a more centralized and a more efficient uh, work environment can be created okay chalo thank you so ek yes, question mujhe aur puchna tha but uh... मैंने सोचा कि उसमें फिर बहुत टाइम लगेगा उसको रिस्पॉन्ड करने में तुम्हें और फिर दैट विल बी द मैटर ऑफ डिस्कशन इन